Hello everyone, in our previous video, we labeled the custom data set for object detection. In today's video, we are going to learn how to train .NET YOLO v4 on this custom data set. So let's get started. I assume that you have built .NET YOLO v4 with GPU support. If you have not, check the video link in the description where we built it on Windows 10. If you have done everything right, you should have this .NET folder and inside .NET there would be x64 folder. Now we are going to set up some custom configurations so that we can train YOLO v4 on custom dataset. So first open data folder and create a new folder and call it obj. Then go to your custom label dataset you should have one image and one corresponding text file that contains the annotations. So I'm gonna copy all these files except this classes.txt and copy them and paste them inside this obj folder. Now you have your data set ready. Secondly, we are going to create a copy of these two files coco.data and coco.names. Let's copy them and paste it here and let's rename it to obj.data and obj.names. If we open obj.names with text editor, we'll find the names of the classes on which YOLO v4 is trained. So in our custom data set, we only have one class and we called it John Wick. So that's what we are going to put here and save this file. Next, we are going to open obj.data. And the first thing is the number of classes in our data set. We only have one class. So put one here. And in second line, we are going to change it to train.txt. We do not need any validation during training. So we're going to remove that. And also remove this line for names we have obj dot names and the trained model would be saved inside backup folder so that's okay and we are also gonna remove the final line and save this file as well now we are gonna head back to x64 folder and go inside cfg folder there should be a file called yolo v4 dash custom there it is create a duplicate copy of this file and let's call it yolo v4 dash obj and open this file with any text editor here we are gonna make some modifications. So batch 64 is okay and subdivisions should be 32. And if you encounter CUDA memory error during training, you can try 64 subdivisions as well. And for width and height of the images, we are gonna go with 416 by 416 and rest of the things remain the same. Next setting that we are gonna change is max underscore batches so this should be equal to 2000 multiplied by number of classes we only have one class so this should be 2000 but i'm gonna make it 4000 the steps should be 80 percent and 90 percent of max batches so 80 percent of 4000 is 3200 and 90% of 4000 is 3600 so that's what we are going to put here now we are going to hit control f and find yolo layers there would be three yolo layers and we are going to make some modifications so in first yolo layer we are going to make number of classes equals one and above this yolo layer you should find this parameter called filters this is set to 255 by default but we are going to change it and the formula to calculate number of filters is number of classes plus 5 multiplied by 3 
So we have one class plus five, that is equal to six and multiply by three, this is 18. And if you have two classes, this would be equal to 21. So we only have one class, so I'm gonna put 18 here. So we're gonna find next YOLO layer that is over here. And again, number of classes are just one and number of filters would be 18. And same would go for third YOLO layer. Number of classes equals one and number of filters equals 18. So that's about it. We're gonna save it. The same setting is also given on this uh, repository. I'll put link in the description. So a little disclaimer, I have got this setting from original Alexi AB .NET repository. Okay, next we are gonna download this yolov4.conf.137 file. That is basically a pre-trained weights file that we are gonna utilize in our training. So download that and place that inside x64 folder. I already have got it, so I'm not gonna download it again. So next we are gonna create list of images on which we want to train .NET YOLO v4. I have a little script called create list of images. So let's open this. So basically it reads all the images inside obj folder that we just created inside data folder and then it creates train.txt and places it inside data folder and train.txt contains the paths of all the images so let's run this script and this script is also uploaded on the github repository that i just showed you earlier so let's fire up anaconda prompt and run command python create list of images.py hit enter and that's it so if we head back to data folder we should have train.txt here and if we open it it have paths to images that we are using in our training so there are total 46 images and i guess these would suffice for the training now to train the model we are gonna issue this command if you are on windows this command would start the training and if you are on linux then this command should be used for the training so i'm on windows so let's fire up anaconda prompt and issue this command darknet dot exe detector train and the obj dot data file is inside data folder data obj dot data and cfg file is inside cfg folder so cfg slash yolo v4 dash obj dot cfg and finally the pre-trained weights file which is yolo v4 dot conv dot 137 hit enter and it will start the training so it's gonna take some time and you'll see this graph that shows the loss over the training iterations so i'll leave that training running whole night and i will get back to you tomorrow okay so training is stopped and the total loss is 0 0.6 which is okay i think and if we go back to our x64 folder we will see chart yolo v4 dash obj.png which is basically the graph of loss so it started from almost 18 and then gradually decreased to 0 0.6 and i stopped the training after 3200 iterations and if we go to backup folder we will see these weights files so after 1000 iterations this checkpoint was created and after 2000 iterations this checkpoint was created and this is the final checkpoint so which is created after every 100 iterations and if you are not happy with the results and you want to train on maybe some more data or you want to resume the training where it stopped you can just issue the same command that we did earlier but for initial weights file you're gonna give path to this checkpoint that is just created 
this one yolo v4 dash obj underscore last dot weights so yolo v4 dash obj underscore last dot weights and it will resume training from last checkpoint okay now if you want to run inferencing on the custom trained model you can issue this command i'm gonna put that in the description as well so darknet.exe detector demo and then we are going to give path to obj.data that is inside data folder and then uh, the cfg file which is yolo v4 dash obj.cfg inside cfg folder and then the weights file that was produced after the training stopped which is yolo v4 dash obj underscore last dot weights which is inside backup folder and then the video on which i want to run the inferencing i already have wick.mp4 and then the threshold of the detection confidence which is uh, set to 60 percent and if we hit enter we are going to get this output and we can see that john wick is being detected with 100 percent confidence and some false positives as well So maybe we need to fine tune the data. Okay, so we achieve FPS of 21, which is almost real time. And if you are not happy with the results, you can annotate some more data and then continue training where it stopped using the command I just shared earlier. And if you want to run object detection on images, you are gonna execute this command, darknet.exe detector, test data slash obj dot data cfg slash yolo v4 dash obj dot cfg and then the path to weights file which is inside backup so hit enter it's gonna ask path to the image so i already have wick dot jpeg inside x64 folder so i'm gonna put that and hit enter and it will run the inferencing so we can see that with 100 percent confidence uh, we are able to detect John Wick, but it is unable to detect Keanu Reeves on the right hand side because we have not included any training images of Keanu Reeves prior to his beard and long hair. So it's not going to detect that. You can annotate your own images and you can then fine tune this model and then check the results again. Maybe it will improve. In our next video, we are going to train custom YOLO v4 on TensorFlow. So make sure to subscribe to get notified. See you next time.